Hey guys, today we're gonna to be making our own textured clay wall hanging. You're gonna get a circle template, some toothpicks, a popsicle stick, and a little bit of water. We'll start by getting our little slab of clay on our styrofoam tray, and we're gonna take that circle template and use a toothpick to cut out our circle. To hold down your circle and trace around the edge. If it's not exactly close to the edge of the circle, that's okay. It can be a little bit outside. It's just to give us the general shape of the circle. I'm gonna take off the extra part of the clay and I'm just gonna set it to the side for now because we will use those to create our textures. Then what I wanna do is I wanna smooth out the edge, edges of my circle. It might be a little hard to smooth it out, so we might need to add just a little bit of water. Notice I'm only dipping in just one finger and just the end of it. I don't want too much water or else it's gonna get muddy. I'm gonna smooth out one edge and then we'll flip it over to smooth out the other edge. But before I do that, I'm gonna take my toothpick and I'm gonna write my name in the back so I know that it will be mine. Notice I'm not pressing very hard. I don't wanna go all the way through my clay and create holes, but I still wanna make sure my name is on it. Then I'll carefully flip it over and I'm gonna smooth the edges of the circle on this side as well before we get started creating our textures. Now that I've got my circle all prepped with my name on it and it has smooth edges, I'm gonna start taking my extra clay and creating different shapes and things that I can attach onto my circle to create textures and a cool sculptural element. I might start by creating these kind of pyramid type shapes and I'm just gonna start by setting them on my piece to see what I end up liking. When we attach two pieces of clay, we want to actually score and slip. But since I'm not quite sure which direction I wanna go with yet, I'm just gonna set them on there to see what I like first. I'm taking little scraps that I'm just kind of ripping off and it gives a really cool textured um, piece on the end. I can create small little balls of clay to create a texture with all different sizes. Play around with your clay just a little bit and see what you like. We've done some brainstorming before this, so we should have a little bit of an idea of how this could work. We don't want to play with the clay too much, otherwise the clay will start to dry out. I can pick up my tray a little bit to see what I like and what I don't. I decided I don't like the pyramid pieces, but I do like the little balls of clay and the little pieces of kind of tall ripped clay with the really cool texture on the top. So I'm gonna keep creating little balls of clay and those little strips of clay and use those for my texture. I'm gonna create a whole bunch of them so I'm ready to add them all at once. I'm gonna create them and kind of set them off to the side. Now that I've got all my little balls of clay, my little scraps with the cool texture on it that I'm gonna to attach to my circle to create the texture, I'm gonna start by roughing up the surface of my circle with my toothpick and cre create all this texture that's gonna help connect my two pieces of clay. We call this scoring or scratching. I'm gonna rough up both this surface of the circle and I'm also gonna rough up where the clay attaches on the piece. So on the bottom of my little textured piece, I'm gonna scratch it up, and then I'm also gonna add just a little bit of water. I like to call the water we add kind of clay glue. We call it slipping. So we score and slip whenever we attach two pieces of clay. This helps the clay 
start to work like Velcro. So once it dries, it actually dries together better and the pieces aren't gonna fall off. I wanna make sure I score and slip every piece that I attach to each other. I'm gonna do this a lot and I'm gonna remind you a lot to make sure you score and slip your pieces so that way they don't fall off. I'm gonna lay down all of my textured pieces first and then I'm gonna go in and add all the little balls of clay in between and all around those and I'm just gonna kinda go with it and see where it takes me. I'm gonna make sure that I'm scoring and slipping all of the pieces that I attach. Scratch it up with the toothpick and then add a little bit of water on the end of your finger to attach it. I wanna add all of those little balls of clay in between and around and on the edges of my little texture pieces. Now that I'm looking at it, I think that my little balls of clay need a little bit of something. So I'm gonna take the end of my Sharpie and push down just a little bit to give it another element of texture and give it a kind of a different shape. I decided I wanted to add more of those little balls of clay throughout my piece. So I'm gonna create some more balls and I'm gonna scratch and attach them and push them down with my Sharpie to create that cool texture. Now that I've got all of my pieces on and scored and slipped, I can kind of see the cool end result of my sculpture texture piece. I'm gonna take my popsicle stick and I'm going to use just a little bit of water on the end to smooth out where I had those score marks because I want that part smooth. You could leave those parts or you could use your popsicle stick or your toothpick to create different textures as well. You don't only have to create textures by using your scoring and slipping and your extra clay. 
you could also use your toothpick and popsicle stick to create some extra textures as well. But I decided I want this part smooth so that way the textures of the little balls of clay and the little tall texture walls that we can call them, I wanna make those stand out. So I wanna smooth the background of my clay just a little bit. Once I do that, then I'm gonna get cleaned up and let this dry before we paint it. I'm also gonna add some holes at the top of my piece with a straw so that way I can string a piece of yarn through it and I can hang it up after it's all painted and dried. So once I get it all ready to go, we'll set it aside to dry and we'll paint it later. Now that it's dried and I use watercolor paints to paint it, I can add my piece of string and it'll be all ready to take home and hang up. I went with sort of coral reef type of colors because it kind of gave me that vibe and those kind of textures. So that's what I went with. Think about how your textures make you feel or what they remind you of and you can paint it in that style as well. Have fun.